Okay, we're gonna go over pure substances and mixtures today. Let's go ahead and watch this video. We are surrounded by countless substances. Some are pure, but the large majority are formed by mixtures of two or more pure substances. Pure substances have a homogeneous appearance. Each pure substance is characterized by having specific properties that distinguish them from all other substances. In contrast, mixtures do not have specific properties. Their properties depend on the substances, or components, that form them. The components in a mixture can be extracted using appropriate separation methods. Depending on their appearance, mixtures can be heterogeneous, or homogeneous, the components in a heterogeneous mixture can be distinguished with the naked eye and are not evenly distributed. The components in some of these heterogeneous mixtures can only be distinguished using a light microscope. This is the case of colloids. The components in a homogeneous mixture, or solution, are evenly distributed, so they cannot be distinguished, not even under a light microscope. Okay, <clears throat> so that was the video. Pure substances <clears throat> they're definite so they are they never change and they can either be an element or a compound um molecules can be elements or compounds as well they are uniform throughout and we're going to see some examples of that later on in the slides so if you're doing the student paste um the student paste Nearpod, you're going to want to insert an image of a pure substance. And this image right here is going to tell you what some of them are. So you can just click the little um, mountain button here and type in, let's say I want to put an image of salt because it's a pure substance. And then you just click on that, you save it, and you post it. And then there you have it. Once you have this screen up, you can make this one bigger to see what other kind of pure substances there are. You can also um, open a new tab and Google search what pure substances are and see what you can find. So you're just going to want to post that on this collaboration board if you're doing the student paste. Atoms. They are a pure substance and they are the smallest unit of matter. They are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Um, it keeps its physical and chemical properties. We're going to learn here in a minute through a video that you can split atoms, but it's not something we talk about in sixth grade. So here's the video. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on this video here. And you're going to want to watch it. I'm not going to watch it with you. So you're going to be in the student paste Nearpod. You can click on it and watch it. Once you watch it, you're going to want to tell me what you learned from that video. Okay. Elements. We are not going to look at the periodic table today. We'll be looking at it in our next lesson. But Elements are a pure substance. They're made of one type of atom. They cannot be broken down into simple or substance substances. You can find them on the periodic table. Here's a good example. Um, if you notice in the lead that all the dots are exactly the same, they're the same size, um, and it's one kind of dot, that's an element. And then the chlorine, again, all the dots are the same size, they're the same color, that's an element. Elements combined in chemical reaction to form molecules. Hydrogen and oxygen and hydrogen bond together to form water. Here you see them separated. You have your hydrogen, you have your oxygen, 
Um, and when they bond together, they are a molecule. So on this one, you're going to want to click on the image up here. It's going to bring up this image and you're going to tell me once you've looked at it and studied it, um, what do you notice? What do you see? What are your observations of that, um, of this image? Molecules and compound, pure substances. Molecules and compounds are pure substances. A compound is a pure substance. When elements chemically bond together, it creates molecules. Molecules can be the same element bonded together or many different types of elements bonded together. So for this one, you got two hydrogen atoms and they're bonded together. That's still technically, it's a molecule of hydrogen. So it's still technically just an element because it's only one kind. When you get multiple kinds, like in this one, you see the C for carbon, the H for hydrogen, the O for oxygen, but they're all bound together. That actually creates a compound. Molecules and compounds. Some molecules are called compounds. Compounds are molecules that are made up of more than one type of atom. So this right here with the two hydrogen atoms, not a compound. But when you get multiple two or more elements, it has to be two or more different elements to make a compound. So here's another open-ended question where you're gonna click on the molecule um, the image of the molecule here, and you're going to tell me what you notice about it. This is actually a water molecule. So what do you notice about that? And then you're going to go here and type in your answer. Make sure when you type it in that you hit that submit button. There's going to be a submit button that shows up. Um, it doesn't show up on mine because I'm doing the preview, but yeah, you'll have a submit button. All compounds are molecules, but not all molecules are compounds. What that's saying is kind of like what we were looking at with the image of the two hydrogen atoms bonded together. Those are molecules, but it's not a compound because it's only one type of element. When you get two or more different elements bonded into a molecule, that is a compound. Some compounds have um, scientific names like carbon dioxide, iron oxide, which is rust, sodium chloride, which is salt, sodium bicarbonate, which is bake, baking powder. And let me see if I can say this one. Dihydroxyaluminum sodium carbonate. <laughs> it's Rolaids for heartburn. Mixtures are not pure substances. They are made of two or more substances that are not chemically bonded. Each substance keeps its own identity. For example, the air around you is technically not a compound. It's a mixture of different kinds of gases. Ocean water is a mixture of salt and water, so it's not a compound. Soil is a mixture of different things that are not bound together. It's a mixture. Trail mix is also a mixture. There are two different types of mixtures, which we are not going to cover in detail, but just to give you a little bit of information. Heterogeneous mixture can see the different substances like trail mix, Italian dressing, soil. Um, homogeneous mixtures, they appear to be the same throughout, but cannot, you can't see the different substances. Um, air around you, you can't see the different gases, but they're there and it's a mixture. Um, lemonade is sugar and water and flavor, and technically the sugar is not bound to the water, it's mixed in, so it is a mixture. So you're going to come to the end, close to the end here, um, and there's going to be a few different things you're going to do. So you're going to want to click on this image and look at the images. And then you're going to want to set, go tell me what is the difference in those two images. This chart right here, I am actually going to, as a matter of fact, I'm going to make a copy of it right now and I am going to post it um, in the folder for this week. So once I get that in there, I will post it up so you can have it for um, the future reference. This is a really good example and picture of the differences in elements and compounds, okay? So this is 
a single element, the atoms are bouncing around, same color, um, same shape, and then you get the molecules of an element. So this is technically still an element because you have the exact same color mixed together here. Um, even though there's two of them, it's still all the same. So then you get to the molecules of a compound. You have diff two different elements because you have to have at least two different elements and they are bound together, but they're the exact same shape, everything. So that makes still makes a pure substance and it's a compound. Here you can see a mixture. Um, this is not a pure substance. Mixtures aren't because they have three different kinds of molecules. They're not bound together. You have a couple of the same, but for the most part, they're mixed together and they're different. So that creates a mixture. At the end of this, you're gonna come to a fill in the blank. What you're gonna wanna do is you click and drag the word up to wherever it fits. And that is going to be your um, review for this lesson. And that's it for Pure Substances. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.